Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to this uh, discussion again. Uh, now today we've been given uh, some questions that we need to discuss and see if we can be able to get the, the solution. Now the first question that we have is uh, given that z equals to ln of y over x then raised to x cubed plus y cubed they want us to determine x del z del x plus y del z del y in terms of, of z. The question is on the whiteboard. Uh, so um, let's see how we can be able to solve this equation. Now, um, Solution. Now, from this equation, z equals to ln of y over x, and then raised to raised to x cubed plus y cubed. Now, you agree with me that uh, ln is natural logarithm and probably you also understand some of the laws of logarithms for example we have the law of logarithm which says that uh, um, it says that log x raised to n is the same as is the same as n log log x therefore if we apply that law of logarithm then this, this expression would be x cubed plus y cubed you can write that way applying the law of logarithm that ln of y over x raised to x cubed plus y cubed you can write it as x cubed plus y cubed ln of y um, y over x. Now, in this equation, we need to get the partial derivative of this with respect to x, and again we get the partial derivative of this with respect to, to y. Once we get this one, we multiply with x, and then when we get dz dy, we also multiply with, with y. Now, let's start by getting del z uh, del x. Now, we are going to, to partially differentiate this one using the product rule because we have this and we have that. And of course, I can see we have also chain rule inside there. Therefore, the product rule, we put down the first, which is uh, x cubed plus y cubed. Then, um, we differentiated the second, we differentiated the second, uh, which is ln of y over x. Now, differentiating this second, now this is what I want to do. Uh, I want to deal with this one. Uh, remember, it's chain rule here, so I have, let me say that y at this point. Now that I have y, I can use another uh, letter. I can say let k equals to ln of um, y over x. Uh, once I do that, then um, I let u equals to y over x. I let u equals to y over x. Then if that, that is the case, then here I have k equals to ln of what? ln of u. We now substitute u there. So we have k equals to ln of u. Then you get the derivative of k with respect to u. So dk du ln of u equals to 1 over 1 over u. Aha. So remember, 
this is u equals to y all over x. Now we need to take the partial derivative of this with respect to, to x. So del u del del x. Now remember u equals to y over x is the same as the same as equals to y raise y x raised to negative one. <clears throat> now we now get the partial derivative of this with respect to x, then it will be minus we multiply by the power which is negative one then we subtract the power which will be uh, minus y x raised to negative two which is the same as minus y all over all over x squared so this is du du d dx now chain rule here now um it will be decay dx equals to dk du dot del u del x which equals to now um, now dk du which is one one all over u dot del u del x which is negative what which is negative negative y all over x squared. Now this equals to one all over what is our u? Our u is y y all over y all over x times minus y all over x squared. Now this is the same as x over y times minus y over x squared. This x goes with one factor there. This y with one factor there so that we remain minus one over minus one over x. Therefore, when we differentiate this one with respect to x, we get dot dot minus one all over x and then plus we put down the second which is a uh, ln of y over x and then we differentiate the first with respect to x we get 3x squared dot 3x squared uh -huh. so this equals to we now multiply it to minus 1 all over x into x cubed plus y cubed then plus here it will be now 3 x squared ln of y over x uh -huh. so this is now del z del x let me write it up there so we have Del z del x equals to minus minus one over x into then plus <clears throat> so so we have gotten this and then we need to get what del z del y del z del y del z del y we have we are uh, x cubed plus y cubed ln of now again product rule we put 
down the fast. And differentiate the second with respect to y. Now here, the working is similar. We let u equals that, but then this time round, we are now getting the derivative with respect to, to y. So we get del u, del y. So when we get del, del, del u, del y, so this will be, it will be when you differentiate y, and you wrap fast. So we have u equals to um, y over y over x. So du dy equals to one all over one all over x one all over x. Um, Just for a moment. Now, remember here we had laid that um, that k equals to ln of y over over x, and u equals to uh, y over over x. Now we have uh, k equals to ln of u. So we have dk du equals to one all over one all over u. And then here we get now the derivative of u with respect to y. Del u, del u del y equals to 1 all over x. When you differentiate y, y you get 1, so we have 1 all over x. Then uh, chain rule, decay. So we have decay t dx here equals to uh, dk du dot uh, du dy so that here we have now 1 all over u dot 1 all over 1 all over x now u is what um, u is 1 all over so we can substitute it there which equals to 1 all over y all over x times 1 all over 1 all over x so this is the same as x all over y times 1 all over, all over x x and x will cancel so we have 1 all over all over y so we are saying that uh, when you define this one you have uh, 1 all over 1 all over y then plus we put down the second which is ln of y over x, and then we differentiate the first with respect to y, so we shall have dot 3y squared. Therefore, this equals to 1 all over y into x cubed plus y cubed. Then you will have plus now 3y squared ln of y over, over x. Uh, this is del y. That is del y. Now that we have we have del z, del y, and then you have del z, del x. So del z, del x we multiply through by x, and del z, del y we multiply through by by y. Uh, so allow me to wrap this. Now, after this, we shall say that uh, now we take del z del x times x, so we have x into del z del x, which is, which is that one, minus 1 over x 
x cubed plus y cubed plus 3 x squared ln of y of x then plus now y into you multiply by del z del y which is 1 over y into x cubed plus y cubed then plus 3y squared ln of y over x now when we remove this bracket remember we are multiplying through by x so this x will cancel this x will remain here with minus x cubed plus y cubed x times x squared we have plus 3 x cubed ln of y over over x then plus now we now open the bracket and multiply through by y this y will cancel with that y at this point so we remain with plus x cubed plus y cubed then this y times 3y squared we have plus 3 y cubed ln of uh, y over y over x now at this point in time you can see that this and these are the same but this is negative this is positive so they will cancel out and then we remain with now we now remain with Now remain with the three x cubed ln of y over x, then plus three y cubed ln of y over x. Now here we can see that. Uh, uh, 3 is common, I can take it out, so I have 3 into x cubed ln of y over x plus y cubed ln of y over, over x. Now again here you can see that uh, ln of y over x ln of y over x is common i can take it out so that i have 3 into x cubed plus y plus y cubed then ln of y over over x but what is this we go back to remember we wrote this one as what Applying the law of logarithm, this is the same as z equals to x cubed plus y cubed ln of y over x. So meaning that this is z. So if this is z, then we replace this one. So this equals to 3, 3 z. So we have, uh, we have now uh, written this in terms of, of z. Thank you for watching and listening.